how can your UPS store win with social media? We believe that effective education is where to start. It's not enough to have a website that includes coupons. Your customers and your prospects have new expectations, and it's important that you learn how to adapt. One fundamental is to understand that your activities online need to mirror your real life activities. It's important that you get involved in the online conversation, begin to build relationships with others who are already there, and become a respected member of your digital community, just as you've earned that position in your real life community. Another fundamental is to understand that there's an ongoing shift in business marketing. Social networkers are sharing their everyday shopping experiences and making recommendations as they communicate online with their friends and family. They are providing those who are part of their inner circle with real-time updates from their mobile phones as they conduct business. Consequently, it's very important for the UPS store to get involved in these conversations. And so now <clears throat> that you understand a couple of the fundamentals, you ask yourself, what's the objective? In one word, the ultimate objective is to foster collaboration. Your online activities will build trust, will reinforce your reputation, and will influence your audience to bring their logistic dollars to your store. Many ask, where do I start? Start with understanding the landscape. What social media looks like in your world, in your community, and in your store. And then learn about the shift that is taking place in business marketing, how it impacts your business and how it impacts your customers. Then develop a purpose <clears throat> so that your involvement in the social media is sustainable and your customers are receiving what they're looking for from you. Then identify and begin to manage the technologies that are appropriate for your strategy. Let's learn a moment about the landscape. Mayberry provides us a perfect example of collaboration. Andy and Barney have a simple conversation outside of Floyd's Barbershop. Andy has just gotten his hair cut. And we all know that Andy didn't go to Floyd to have his hair cut because of Floyd's slick radio campaign. He went to Floyd because he knows Floyd. Floyd is a trusted member of his community. Andy enjoys his experience with Floyd. And Floyd is easy for Andy to reach. So up walks Goober, who compliments Andy on his recent haircut. When Andy replies with an appreciative thank you and recommends that Goober use Floyd when he need a haircut. And we all know that Andy didn't make that recommendation because of Floyd's uh, customer referral program and he's obviously never rewarded Andy for that referral. He made that recommendation because he truly believes that Floyd is the best barber for Goober to use. The introduction of mass media shifted us away from face-to-face -face interaction into a more impersonal message delivery. When the web and digital marketing were introduced, we expanded our horizons to an unlimited access of information. This was many times very overwhelming. Search engines began to refine our use of this digital access and provided us from a uh, provided us freedom from a growing case of decision paralysis. Today, another shift in the communication landscape is emerging, and in fact, it's here. We refer to it today as Mayberry RFD. The conversation is relevant, the community is friendly, and the format is digital. UPS stores are doing business with customers who know how to be social. The customer's expectations are rapidly changing and adopting this new way of communicating. Your customers are researching and searching more than ever 
and become educated and, and get recommendations before they make a purchase. So how is business shifting their marketing to adapt? The trend is moving away from what's referred to as push marketing. And it's moving toward an opt-in model, focusing more on relationships. The UPS store is an ideal participant, and this opens an opportunity for all UPS stores to be recognized as helpful, friendly, and a generous member of your community, one who brings value to the online conversation. Just as you have positioned your brick and mortar stores in prominent places, in the digital community it is important to be where you can be found. Businesses today are found in two primary ways. The popular search engines is one, and the emerging social search is another, where friends are asking friends for advice, and your business name is surfacing in social conversations as an option or a solution. As a business, your social activity will play a big part in how search engines rank you. The search engines are now indexing social network posts, and your community now recognizes your posts from other community members as friendly and credible advice. Shoppers are paying close attention to the responses that they receive from questions they ask. And when they research, they're combing through the posts, the comments, and the suggestions in their social communities. There's a collaborative interaction between the, social en the uh, search engines and the social networks. Google owns YouTube and indexes all text associated with your YouTube videos. Google is also indexing Facebook and Twitter updates. And Bing has partnered with Facebook to provide search results at the bottom of a Facebook search page. We've learned that organic or non-manufactured results win long term over search engine optimization or search engine marketing activities. While SEO tactics may provide you quick results, it's very costly to maintain such a program. For the UPS store, your most effective digital marketing effort is in social conversation and content marketing. So we understand the landscape, and we see how your business can adapt. What's required to develop a sustainable purpose? makes no sense to set up a circus tent and invite the community to attend without bringing in the animals and striking up the band and cueing the clowns. Your community wants to be entertained. It makes no sense to set up a social media profile without an incentive or a reason to invite your friends, your customers, and your prospects. The purpose for setting up a tent is to entertain. The purpose for setting up a social media presence is to collaborate. To develop a sustainable purpose, first identify your business objectives and intersect them with what your customers are looking for. Your customers want to be recognized. They're looking for incentives, prizes, savings, rewards. They want to contribute in a way that will enhance their social capital. This can be achieved through social conversation and content marketing. You delivering free, valuable information to your community, encouraging conversations, and building relationships that evolve into loyal customers in real life. The pillars of your sustainable purpose require that your leader understand that social media success requires a commitment of personnel and resources. It also requires that you identify a social media administrator or a communications officer, that you clearly indicate your social media communication goals, identify which tools are most effective, and you consistently manage and administer 
the social activity. And what are the actual activities we're performing? Initiating conversation, recognizing conversation and comments, and responding appropriately. Monitoring for mentions of your name, your services, or your products. Soliciting feedback, which many times can be used as effective user-generated content. Managing your community, inviting others, supporting community members, and promoting community initiatives. Remember when Andy suggested Goober C. Floyd? This type of conversation is happening online all day, every day. When a recommendation is made in your arena for one member to do business with another, it's important that you have a presence that they can point to, which includes your logistical data, like your address, your phone number, the services you offer, customer testimonials, shared customer experiences. This makes doing business with you only a click away for those who get referred. Okay, we understand the social landscape and we understand how the UPS store can adapt. We've outlined a purpose. It's time to get out the tools. And now you ask, what technology or tools should you use? We suggest these as the essential six. However, you don't want to jump in and implement them all at once. Setting up a Facebook page and a Twitter account would be a great place to start. And as you grow and gain knowledge and experience, you'll feel more comfortable venturing into other media. Let's do a quick overview of Facebook. The profile is a personal page, probably what most of you have started with. And the business page can be established for your UPS store as a gathering place for your community. We suggest that you leave the content on your personal page personal, though you can certainly share your business activities with your personal friends as well. However, some like keeping that content private. Your business page is where you'll communicate your business message and carry out your business purposes. On your business page is a format called a timeline, which enables you to create a legacy of information surrounding your store. Your people, your services, your experiences, this page will ultimately become the core of your digital marketing strategy. It's important that you follow the MBE corporate policy when setting up your Facebook business page using your store name and the four-digit store code. In your digital landscape, Facebook can be considered the same as your backyard barbecue or perhaps your neighborhood gathering. Twitter is probably as popular as Facebook, but it's also a very simple tool. You might think of Twitter as the telephone network in your digital community. It can also be considered an instant message tool that can reach your friends really from anywhere. Or perhaps consider it as a text tool that enables you to hold a public text conversation. It can be used to communicate with others quickly and efficiently from anywhere. As a business, you can draw customers and prospects to you by tweeting intriguing headlines and including a link to your Facebook posts or your website. LinkedIn has three separate components that are important to you as a UPS store. The profile page can be considered the resume or the bio for you personally. The business page is similar to your Facebook business page, detailing all of your business activities. And the groups are affinity groups, where members share common likes and interests. You'll need to begin in LinkedIn with a profile page, then build a business page, and if you have the time and interest, you can join some groups. Groups are actually created by LinkedIn members. And if you have a purpose to start a group, 
it might be a good idea to start your own group and invite members who have similar interests. Remember the circus tent when considering starting a group. Status updates in your profile page will not carry to your business page nor to your groups. Each element is treated separately as a separate community. All of them are great places to lend a hand and be recognized as helpful. In your digital landscape, LinkedIn can be considered the Chamber of Commerce. YouTube is where you'll store all of your video content. I'll mention that video is the most effective method of content delivery. YouTube is also the third most searched site behind Facebook number one and Google number two. And so it's a good idea to record, edit, and post lots of video content. When uploading your videos to YouTube, be sure to add clear titles, tags, and descriptions. The search engines index all of the text that is associated with your YouTube videos. Pinterest is a place for you to store all of your picture content. Today, joining Pinterest requires an invitation. So if you want to join, send me a note and I'll forward you an invite. As with YouTube, be sure to provide accurate descriptions when you post your pictures. That's how you will be found. And when you are found, visitors can comment, share, like, and tweet your pictures to their community. As a UPS store, it would be a great idea to develop a photo library of customers and the unique items that they bring to you to ship. This can ultimately become an ongoing and interesting sales tool for your community. You can also develop a photo library of the products that you sell and link them to your store website or to a Contact Us page where interested customers can contact you. Pinterest has proven to be a very effective tool to increase traffic to websites and e-commerce environments. Foursquare can be developed into a very powerful tool. One of your primary objectives as a UPS store is to create loyal customers that will represent residual sales. <clears throat> We're all familiar with the many traditional loyalty programs. Foursquare is what I'd call an electronic loyalty program. It provides the ability for your community to converse about your store and your services, to share their experiences, and to be an active marketing entity for you. Foursquare is a social network. The status updates come from mobile phones that connect to a satellite while your customer is in your store and checks in. This tool can, can enhance a very effective new customer loyalty program. Once you've developed a four-square purpose, you'll want to encourage this behavior. Why? Because your customers will get rewarded for checking in and perhaps even get more substantial of a reward for more check-ins. And your store gets promoted to their four-square friends, Facebook friends, and Twitter followers. And they can add a comment sharing their experience and even include a photo that was taken at your store. Here's a simple equation to demonstrate the power of Foursquare. If 10 customers per day come into your store and check in on Foursquare, and each of them has 300 Facebook friends and 200 Twitter followers, you'll experience 5,000 impressions each day or 150,000 impressions each month to the members of their communities. And remember, this is not you pushing your ad on these people. It's their trusted friend sharing their enjoyable experience from the UPS store. Providing your customers a reward for multiple check-ins will result in residual loyal customers. How can premier companies and 
social media traction help you? Beyond our experience with social media and digital technologies, we've been recognized for nearly three decades as communication strategists. Our social media traction strategies are highly effective as business communication tools. And we've developed an effective educational curriculum for our clients. Before we claim to be able to help you, it's important that you completely understand that success requires a strong commitment. The efforts are time consuming. You'll need some knowledge and some technical abilities. Our introductory social media traction package for UPS stores includes four basic services. It's very important to educate your staff. We'll answer your questions. You'll have access to our UPS Store FAQ forum. And you'll be invited to join in on a weekly 30-minute UPS Store webinar. We'll provide three different levels of education. One for the beginners, for those who have some experience, and those who feel they can teach us. We'll set up your basic presence. We'll establish and optimize your Facebook business page and timeline and a Twitter account. Each week we'll post at least three updates to your Facebook and Twitter accounts. These posts will feature stories that revolve around UPS store products, services, or experiences. We'll help with community management. We'll send an initial email invitation to your point of sale email list announcing your involvement in the social networks and inviting your customers to join you there. If you need additional consulting or implementation services, we'll certainly make them available to you. Our introductory UPS store package has been developed to be simple and to fit within your budget. Only $299 provides you the complete setup package. And $99 a month for 24 months administers the program and educates you and your staff to be effective. At the end of this period, you'll have three clear choices. You can choose to continue working with us, begin operating your social media activities in-house, or you can operate in-house and simply hire us on a coaching basis. In any event, we'll assure that your marketing and communications results continue to be of value to your store. We want you to ask, what's the return on investment? Committing the personnel and resources and properly developing a strategy that you can efficiently operate and measure will prove to generate a substantial return in many areas, such as increased traffic to your store website, improved search engine optimization and page ranking, an economical method of communicating, a higher degree of visibility for selling add-on services, improved productivity for your staff, an accelerated learning curve for prospects, and an increased rate of captured business. Let me close by saying this. Whether you choose to work with us in our SMT services or you venture out on your own, I want to stress the importance of simply getting involved.